Hi guys and welcome to this video on Python and GDAL installation. After my Medium posts and YouTube videos, a lot of people wrote to me mentioning that they find it difficult to install GDAL for Python. So I automated the process so that it's much easier now and you don't have to do anything manually. Uh, let's see how you can do it. Before that, I'll show you that I don't have a Python installed in my PC. Now, I'll put this link in the description of this video, which I wrote yesterday. Uh, this is uh, the medium post that I wrote about it for people who like to, you know, take their time and read about it and uh, do it themselves. That's totally fine. Uh, I just wanted to show you also how to do it. So go to this GitHub repository. You have two different versions. Um, 32-bit and 64-bit. My system is 64-bit, so I will use 64-bit. You can check that in your PC properties. Okay, here. Now, I will open this as raw file, 64-bit, and I'll save it on my desktop for now. And make sure that you save it as all files otherwise it will add that text file extension in the end and it won't be a dot bat file okay so yeah here is my program i will right click and run it as administrator and then things will happen on their own i'll forward this video until it downloads but it shouldn't take a lot of time okay so my download is done which took about what 20 seconds I guess now I will press the continue key here don't go into install now go into customize installation press next this path you can shorten it trust me you will thank me later install this might take about let's say a minute okay so my Python installation is complete I will close this now the program will initiate GDAL core bindings installation. Just accept it, choose typical installation and install. GDAL installation is also done. Now we link the two. Select install for all users or just for me whatever you want. I would recommend installing for all users. Now you select this which looks good if you have more python versions installed all of them will appear here but you select 3.7 because that's what we are using press next it will install and then finish installation is complete and the video uh, the window will close now i'll press enter okay now to see uh, i'll open command prompt type python okay so you can also search in the start for command prompt and write python 37 when i import gdal it doesn't throw an error which means the installation is complete similarly what you can also do is open okay earlier when we searched for python nothing showed up but now we have python installed in our pc uh, this time you can open this ideally if you open this python it will open the same command prompt with python you can uh, open ideally so that is it's easier to manage your scripts and all okay so same console even if you try it here import gdal it works okay so i hope the process was smooth as opposed to adding you know path variables etc etc uh, so in the back end it adds all the path variables that is required let's say gdal path driver path even in the path it will add python and gdal everything is done in an automated fashion thanks for watching this video and uh, share if you find it useful see you in the next video